I don't want to use a screwdriver if you can. You have a, another crescent hammer? Crescent, crescent hammer. hammer? Well, he's got the tools, so you just, you just need something heavy and kind of cushiony. Where's that pipe? Right just to whack it. Think about all that oil in there. You see it boiling off? What do you think about all that oil right there? There's still a lot of refrigerant in here. It's just boiling off. So that could account for the, the increase in pressure? I should say, yeah, increase in pressure. Yeah, Good. The side classes, we got like about an eighth inch or something. Yeah, it doesn't look good. It doesn't look like there's any any obstruction in there. That's that this year suction reads, this year discharge read. So for the YouTube people out there, what do you got? Suction and <laughs> suction and discharge. There you go. The puck. Nice, huh? Discus. I mean honestly there's there is no that I can see. If you want to look at it yourself, go for it. So we do still have some boiling going on here. Interesting. It seems to be working pretty good though as far as the mechanical part of it is concerned. Just got it up the top though. Oh no, I won't move anymore, will it? No. I it's, it. at, it's at the top dead center sometimes. That was a lot of oil up there, though. Yeah, that's the first thing that came to my mind. That could be uh, wondering if because well, could be because we were short cycling it too. Yeah, didn't have a chance to get going. Yeah, a lot of times when you short cycle, it, you know, that's how you, that's how you get a lot of oil out in the system anyway. Short cycle. Mm -hmm. That's what I didn't want to happen. Put the other, you want to take the other one off? Yeah, but I want to put this one back on. Crap to get in there. Before you do that, where's that oil? Are you going to put the little charge back up again? The oil is down here. Okay. I was going to rub the gas off oh. the oil. You got to put the center, the center bolt in too. Yeah. Yes. Right here. I don't yeah, think we have to go. There's some right here, right, right here, on the, okay, do you, do you, do you, do you, do you, oh, he got some good, oh, right there, there you go, it's a little bit like that, so we're going to use the same gasket, it looks yeah. good, yeah, there's no, just drop, uh, pin, okay, pin drop, so I need the pin, pin came out,
that tube is right there? Little screw real quick. What is that tube? That, that's the um, crankcase ventilating valve. Wow. I'll pretend I know what that is. That uh, creates a pressure drop between this side of the, of the compressor and this side of the compressor. So it pushes the oil. It's like a five pound pressure drop between here and here. Right. So it pushes the oil from here over to the crankcase. From the motor side to the crankcase. Because there's a check valve right here that only allows flow in one direction. Is that new in that configuration? It's really been doing that for years. Okay. This one, this one will even have it. I remember seeing that little plastic or whatever it's made of. We don't usually take these apart. Yeah. Well, the, the ones we used to take apart were the Carlisles back in the day, but yeah, that's quite a bit. Carlisle or, or uh, no, uh, what we have. Well, we the center bolt. Nope. What we have on board ship was the. Uh, was it Carlisle? Did we get the carrier? Five H forties. Oh yeah. Which. Is basically the same it looks company, right? You know, I did. The guy uh, sent me some stuff. We need to do this. We need to break that down out of circuit work. Let me let me see if I may have something. 